Hi, welcome to this video paper. It's on the uh, 26th of May, it's Sunday. We're just going to be looking at three Forex pairs today, which will include the end. They're going to be USD JPY, Euro JPY, and CAD JPY. We will go to the charts in a moment. Now, just for new viewers, since we first started tracking these three pairs in videos, uh, we're up near enough 800 pips overall, but there's far more profit potential to come. The end is going to strengthen a lot more. Now I'm going to go to the charts now and obviously give my reasons of why I'm so yen bullish, which is really to do with the uh, fundamentals and sentiment behind the charts. Now in terms of the technicals, I'm going to go through uh, my suggested levels of entry, stop and target as well. But please do keep in mind when I'm giving my view of the charts, it is my view as of this present moment in time. It can of course change in line with the market conditions if you want all our trading techniques. Now daily technical and sentiment analysis of 14 major forex pairs. You can actually get live access to our member center on the link beneath this video. Right, we're going to go and take a look at the charts. We're going to look at USD JPY first. Right, on the chart of the USD JPY daily. Before we draw our levels, let's look at uh, why we're so bullish of the yen. Um, it's the most oversold of all the major currencies, uh, so it's got a lot of ground to make up. It's already started to firm far more strength ahead. It's going to benefit from big money flows into Japan. Japanese investors, very important, they hold 500 trillion in overseas investments. They're starting to bring that money home and they're going to bring more of it home. Why? Because we've got an uncertain outlook for the global economy, we've got trade wars and slowing global growth. Um, in terms of um, Japanese investors, very cautious. And even if trade wars, there's an agreement between the US and China, it is not going to stop the slow up in global growth. Bullish for the yen, okay? The yen is the number one safe haven currency. So it's not just Japanese investors bringing their money home that's going to boost it. It's um, money coming in from overseas. Uh, Japanese bond market in particular, second biggest bond market in the world, is seen as a very safe place to park money for overseas investors. So big money flows clearly in favour of the yen. Uh, the negative fundamental that pushed it to oversold was uh, Japan basically has negative interest rates and prints money. It has stimulus in place, but that is now at its peak. Already made small reductions to stimulus. Uh, Japanese will bring it down even more as the domestic economy improves. But even if they keep it at current levels with the current uncertainty in the global economy and general investor nervousness, the yen will remain firm. Uh, you see how bullish I am of the yen. Uh, I haven't done the weekly chart this week, but in terms of my targets, uh, you can see them weekly support at 104.50, then 100, so over 500 pips. To first target nearly a um, thousand pips to second. If you got the second target, the percentage change is 8.26 with no leverage. A lot of traders I think I've said this before think in terms of pips. I always think in terms of percentages and focusing on the long term. That makes me a bit more comfortable when I get the inevitable retracements against me. Obviously, knowing the big bullish fundamentals behind the end, in my view, it makes me comfortable. Uh, if yeah, you do get inevitable retracements like here, but in terms of um, uh, yeah, the yen, uh, the technicals, I got very interested in it here because what happened is yeah, we came up quite aggressively to test the one twelve number, came off, then came back up again. Here is where we wanted to sell. Market generally bullish the USD saying it should go higher, but it just kind of held around the 112 level. Low volatility, just one half-hearted poke through. We sold on the red and uh, came in at 111.80 through this 20-day moving average. And uh, regular viewers will know we just love the 20-day moving average. We'll very often sell through it if we're bearish or buy through it if we're bullish. We're obviously bearish in this instance and then look for it to generally hold rallies. It's not a brick wall, but you can see what happens. A couple of pokes back above it, but closes beneath it. Four closes beneath it, can't get through. Came down, 
when we were rallying back up here saying the member center, also I think I've said it in my weekly forecast, the 20 day moving average should hold the rally. Yeah, when you're trading big trends, it will very often provide resistance. It might poke through a little bit or whatever, but generally we look for prices to fade back to the 20 and you've got a fade here. One poke, two, three, and then down. It's just, I know it's very simple, but I just love using a 20 day move in average. Now, in terms of if you wanted to come into this trade, where would you come in? Just draw a trajectory there, which is just above the 110 level and the 20 day moving average. 110 is a round number. So rally should fade back towards that level. You sell a rally or sell a break lower through that tail there. You're just above a round number at 109.27. So just get below the round number, clear of that tail, let's say 108.80. And then I think we'll be going to the downside on higher volatility. So you can sell a rally or sell a break lower. Where does your stop need to be? Um, my stop is back behind those two bodies there. That tail, obviously, just yeah, where the gap is. So, yeah, I'm going to trail the stop down, but I, I want to see a downside breakout first of all. Then I'll bring my stop in behind the 20 day move in average. So a sell on rally, a rallies or breaks lower. In terms of the um, next two pairs we're gonna look at, Euro JPY and CAD JPY, uh, I think they potentially got a lot more downside than this one. So we'll go and take a look at them. We'll take a look at uh, Euro JPY first. In chart of Euro JPY uh, daily, and in terms of we just looked at the yen fundamentals, we're very bullish, obviously. In terms of the Euro fundamentals, uh, we're just very bearish. Um, just uh, reasons why Japan to reduce stimulus, it's at its peak as we've just seen. Uh, ECB over in the EU are set to increase stimulus due to you know, a slowing economy, and also they've got a banking crisis. Uh, the EU economy is not doing very well at all. Um, our own view is it's going to go in to recession, just very bearish. Now, in terms of point number two, I put wild card. I see EU elections there today. Anti-EU parties to increase vote share. That's the forecast by 30%. That's the vote share they expected to get. I personally think they could get more than 30%. That's extremely bearish for the euro. If the uh, vote is slightly better than expected or at forecast, I just don't see any big rally in the euro, but a, a worse um, than forecast showing for the anti-EU parties, extremely bearish for the euro. Um, you see how bearish I am with the euro, I've got weekly targets of 115.50, then longer term 100. Just the first target, 750 pips. But uh, this is basically confirming a big trend in my view, uh, far further to run. Now in terms of the way we've been playing this trade, here, sorry I need to get my line where I want it, we came up here, it's almost at the round number, just below the 127 level and we stalled, okay. You can see we did get above it briefly here, immediately rejected, came back to test, rejected, came up, we thought it would be rejected. And we'll just basically come in through the next round number down, which is 126. Came in at 125.80. We didn't even wait for the 20 day moving average to give way because we're just so bearish. See a couple of blues, break the 20, try and get to it. Can't do it. Down sideways, poke up to the 20 red, and then down. Now, in terms of, um, you know, how would you get into this pair if you wish to do so? Let me just draw some levels in. We're obviously there, just below the trajectory. Obviously got resistance at the 20 day moving average. So you could sell back to that level, those two candle peaks there. Um, the really big level of resistance is this one, it's 124. And you can see how important it is, it's also a weekly level. You have found decent support here. Then you get a gap through, try to get back above and then down. 
So if she goes through the trajectory, look to sell back to the 20 day moving average. What if she doesn't go back to the 20 day moving average or doesn't rally? Uh, I would just basically sell uh, on weakness through Friday's low. I don't think you need to be too fussy about entry in this one, okay? I just feel the fundamentals are just so bearish that 124 level will hold. I'd have the stop at 124.50. Mine is just behind this gap here, okay? Uh, we're at 122.44. So basically risking about 200 pips if you came in or got in at Friday's close. And then downside, uh, 750 to first target. I, I really like the look of this trade longer term far further to run on the downside right let's go and shift now to the last pair we're going to look at which is going to be of course sorry cat jpy it's last chart uh, cat jpy in terms of the uh, fundamentals for the canadian dollar out now bearish for us canadian dollar is a proxy risk currency yen is the number one safe haven if you've got slowing global trade and growth the yen is going to firm of course proxy risk currencies are going to get hit the hardest and any commodity currency is a proxy risk currency um commodity prices are going to fall i personally think the bank of canada will be cutting interest rates in the coming months and i think you know we're going down to weekly support 75 then 70 to first target will be 600 pips obviously to second about 1100 pips now in terms of um, the yen, I'm basically bullish a bit on all the commodity currencies. I've got actually AUD and NZD short on the JPY. My biggest allocation is this one. This one has actually done the worst. So I'm hoping it's going to play catch up. I mean, it hasn't done too bad. It's about uh, 230 odd pips, but the others uh, have done better. Um, so I'm hoping we're going to play catch up and I think this pair looks really attractive for anyone wanting to come in fresh. Now, just the way we've been playing the trade, this resistance level here, around number, came up to test it, and we just felt that it would hold. You had a poke above, back, poke above. I'm just waiting for weakness. We decide to take this one through the 20-day moving average. It breaks it, tries to get back to it, can't, falls bit of a rally gets above the 20 day moving average but yeah the rally has now been rejected you know if you if you're selling back to the 20 day moving average or looking for prices to fade back to the level if you're looking at a big trend to know if i said earlier always have your stop a little bit back from the 20 day moving average it's not a brick wall ours at the moment is at 80 to 80 so just behind this gap here so you got four tails and obviously you can see the gap there so that's where our stop is behind luckily our stop was missed let's draw trajectory if you're coming into this trade fresh then it's really good obviously now you've got the 20 day moving average right at 82 a round number which coincides with that um candle open there values back to 82 selling opportunities and uh how would you get in if we don't rally? Um, I'd personally sell it on any red through those two candle tails. You could wait for the round number to give way. So 80, 80, really. Sorry, I'm just drawing in a support level. So 80, 80. Then see if she runs. Now, in terms of if we break lower, I'm going to bring our stop down a little bit tighter behind the 82 level probably 82.40 um for me this trade has got really great profit potential longer term it could become uh the best of the three um you know if we get risk off it certainly will in my view uh, we'll have to see but yeah all three pairs look good um, from my perspective and uh yeah yeah for us uh, far more strength ahead we'll update these pairs in a future video or the weekly forecast but uh, that is the video for today thank you very much for watching me as usual take care and have a good day